Hi, I'm Uncle Dan, and you found my money channel. Lucky you. I want to share with you a little bit about why I'm so passionate about investing and why I'm interested in helping you. 40 years ago in high school, I traded my first call option. That was back in 1982, the bull market that rode all the way up to October of 87. When I went to college, I focused on finance and economics and I continued to trade stock options, earn some extra money on the side. When it came time to graduate, lucky enough to join an investment bank straight out of college, trading on the floor at the Chicago Board of Trade. This was important for me as a retail investor. What I didn't know was who was on the other side of the trades, the inside ropes of being a market maker. After Chicago, I moved to Singapore. Singapore is one of the most amazing cities in the world. If you ever get an opportunity to go there, do visit. There, I had the opportunity to work with all types of investors. So for decades while living in Singapore, I helped consult as well as learn from the biggest banks, broken houses, hedge funds, and local traders on the Singapore exchange. While working with all of these interesting investor types, I decided to go for an advanced degree, the Chartered Financial Analyst, or CFA. It's one of the 10 most difficult courses in the world. I was lucky enough to pass the three levels of the exam and earn my charter. Between my experiences with all investor types and the opportunity to provide consulting, to financial institutions on a global basis, leveraging my CFA, there's few people you'll ever meet with the type of exposure that I've had. Now I'm retired and I've moved back to the States. What I'd like to do is to share all my experiences over the last 40 years so somebody can benefit from this other than myself. So this is my way of paying forward and helping other young investors. So I'd like to leave you with three reasons why retail investors lose. One is retail investors trade too big. They don't understand sizing and they always think that they're right. So they go in way too confidently that the markets are predictable. Two, investors have no patience. If things don't move the way they want, they cut their losses and get out. So they're not willing to wait. And then three, as soon as investors get back from a losing position, they're all too happy to get out at break even. They never let their winners run. So these are the three primary reasons why retail investors typically lose in investments. There's lots of opportunities in the marketplace. I encourage you to explore the hundreds of videos that I've done and will continue doing. And be an active contributor with comments and questions and let's try to learn and evolve together as these markets continue to change and challenge us as investors. So I wish you the best of luck and congratulations on finding this channel.